everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hi guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. Guess what day it is. It's time to play with Gina Aaron's design team. And the prompt this month is tickets and use them okay that could mean any kind of ticket i'm taking it literally um this is the tim holtz ticket strip die so what i did is i actually dug into my um old scrapbooking paper it's it's not old but it's it's scrapbooking paper and i decided to um die cut a bunch of these tickets now, here's what I'm thinking. That one didn't go all the way, did it? Hmm. We got to get the scissors out. All right, here's my thoughts on this. These I'll use for something, probably in a grab and glue. <clears throat> so I've got these different patterns on these tickets, right? So what I'm thinking about doing is putting two strips together. Hopefully they will fit the way I want them to. Yes, they will. And I am going to make little booklets out of these. Aren't they going to be cute? All right, so first thing I'm going to do is glue them together. So I'm going to figure out here, let's do a heart and a pretty flowers. Because we can. I don't think that's right. Yeah, it is. All right, so there's another one. So there's two. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do all of these um, on camera, unless you guys want me to. I can do a fast forward. But um, So here's two more little books. And look at these little monsters. I thought they were so cute. So we're going to put these on the back of the little monsters. All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to do with these is I think I'm going to use double-sided tape on these. Because if I try to do some gluing, I'm going to have one heck of a mess. Actually, not double-sided. Let's just use this. This is our tape runner. So what I'm going to do... <gasps> oh, no, I broke it. I'm going to be more careful. I have to be more careful. I think this is out of tape. It is. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, so I changed the tape in here, but I got looking. Look at this. I am going to tear this apart. And look at that cool mark maker. How cool is that? And hope I don't get... Thank goodness I have glasses on. Nope, we're not going to use that. I'm going to have to get all this old tape off here. I'll work on this later. Sorry, guys. I got sidetracked, you know. Squirrel! All right, back to our tickets. We put some more tape in here, so let's get it running. There we go. Uh... All right, so we're going to do these two first. And you know, I'm being really crazy about this. I could have just used my sticker, sticker maker, huh? Wouldn't that make sense? Yeah, I could have just used my sticker maker, Cindy. All right, so there's one. How cute. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to play with these. Um, let me grab my sticker maker here. And I want that side to be a sticker. And if I run out of sticker maker stuff, I'm going to be mod. It's going cockeyed, so let's straighten it out. That's the only thing I don't like about these is if you don't watch them, they go cockeyed like that. And then they won't get sticker on the whole thing. So you have to kind of adjust them. 
All right. Oh my God. Sorry. Singing again. And we're just going to stick these together. And we got these cute little booklets. Alright, so there's two. We have four left. So let me go ahead and do these and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got them all stuck together right now. Um, and what I'm going to do is I've got some archival ink here and I've got a set of Gina's stamps. This is set number six um, and I call it her Doodles, Flowers, and Feather. Hmm, is there a feather in here? No, so I don't know why I put feather on there. Who knows? We got the arrows, we have the doodles, we have some words. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, um, I'm going to use some archival ink. Got some bunch of other stuff out here, but let's start out with this. This one is a deep purple. And I don't use um, colored inks a lot. And I'm trying to get myself to use them more. And. So that's what we're doing. You see that? It's cute. All right, so we got those put on there. Now I want to put, um, I want to put a little bit of the, whoops, arrows. What other color do we have? Red? Purple and red? Let's do red. And let's just kind of wonky them. Wonky wonky. Okay, so we're just going to wonky them. All right, now I have this little jar. I actually, I put them in the jar because they were in a, a little baggie. And of course, you know how baggies work. Um, and what they are... It's, let me bring you in so you can see these. They're so cute. Look, whoops. It's a little fox, a little hedgehog, little owls, a little squirrel, and mini mushrooms, and acorns. Little hedgehog. How cute are they? I don't even know where I found these. I want to say I was with um, my friend Carla down in North Carolina, and we went to this, um, not the reuse store, not the scrap exchange, but it was like a, like a Goodwill. I don't remember the name of it, but it was like a Goodwill. And they had this like buyout from this store of all this confetti, and this was in there. How cool are they? I just think they're so adorable. So anyways, we're going to use some of those today. Let me bring you back out. I've uh, got to get some glue. We're just going to take some of this Scotch Scrapbooker's glue. And I've got to just put some of these little guys on here. They're going to be so cute. Acorn's bigger than he is. So we'll put the acorn down here, a couple of them. And what my plan is, is just to make like little mini books on these, out of these um, tickets. I think they'll be adorable. Let's give him a little mushroom next to him. Because he looks all lonely by himself, so we'll give him a little mushroom. And I'll cut the, well, there we go. <laughs> They're just so cute. couple acorns. Uh, let's see. Let's throw a hedgehog on here. They, they seem to be all going that way, so we'll get him over here. 
He's going after the acorns, even though I don't think hedgehogs eat acorns, but hey, whatever. It's all good. Let's take a little fox. Aren't these so cute? And I've been looking for the exact project to use them on because they're so tiny, you know, it's kind of hard to use them on bigger stuff. So I just thought these would be adorable. And then I just want to put, um, well, let's put an owl up here. Why not? I wonder if there's stickers. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. I wonder if I put two on everything. Yep. Let's see if I put two on this guy. Yep. Okay. So they are really, really thin. Wow, really thin. Nope, that one's not. Okay. Is this guy too? Can't tell. We're going to leave it right there if it is. Doesn't matter. All right. So we're going to take our little owl. And he's going to sit right here too. Now, I want to take some black ink. Do I have a black archival? Yes. Um, let's do... That's going to be too big. Let's find... Uh, this is going to work. That's too big. I'm looking for some uh, tiny words. Tiny words. Let's use this. Your life is a story. Make it interesting. Why not? We can, right? glue I'm not real fond of and that's why I still have it. I should get rid of that glue because I'm just I'm not real fond of it. I really like my tacky glue. That seems to work the best. Had to move. Make it interesting. Isn't that cute? So, what we're going to do. do this instead. Let's go like this way. We'll make that so that when you open it, that looks better. I like that. All right, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Okay, let's let this dry for a few minutes, then I'm going to do some more work to it. So now this one, this one I just, I, I love the, um, the gold that's in this paper and this one to me just looks like an inspirational line okay so what I was thinking for this one is let's see 
let me grab some stuffs together and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, um, you saw me decorate this little guy, and I'm still not done with it. I need to, um, I'm, I've got more I want to do on it, on the front and the back. But I'm letting this dry. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do some decorating. Um, I'm going to fast forward through this so you guys can watch, uh, but I will be back. so these are pretty well dry um, oh I didn't do anything on the side of that one I just put a couple words on the back of this I've got artistic and beautiful but I really wanted to work on these a little bit more um, I just want to bring out the words that I put in here I've got laughter I've got journal I've got create I have imperfection and then the way I'm thinking is this is life right so now I just think that's so cute um, what I'm going to do I'm going to do the same thing on that but I want to make I was looking at this now I want to have it shut okay so it's going to tie shut I'll have a little piece of ribbon on it I don't need this big of a piece of ribbon but we'll have a little piece of ribbon just tie it shut a little bit little tiny knot no big deal do, 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 do. Don't mind me, I'm singing again. I don't even have my headset on. All right, so I'm just going to tie it together. Now, I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, that is so cute, but I want a little pocket. So, let me, for some reason, my drawer thing here keeps sliding. So, I want a little pocket. 
Mm, this kind of makes that kind of handy just to cut right across. I want a little pocket for it to stick in. Isn't that cute? So now I'm just going to take my tape. Maybe. No, that's not going to work. Let me take. Oh, this is double sided. No, that's. Do, 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 do. I believe this is double sided. Yes, it is. I'm going to take a little piece of my double sided tape. I'm just going to cut it in half. And actually, I don't even need all of this. I can do this for two pieces. So here's one side. Here's the other side. And we're just going to shut it up here on the tape. And then I'm going to stick it in the little pocket. How cute is that? Love it! And you know what I think I will do? I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna use this, so hang on, let me cut it and do it right here and right here because I'm gonna do another one. Um, now on this, I think I'm going to put one of Gina's, this little guy, one of Gina's stamps. I'm gonna do it in black. like that. How cute. So I'm going to finish making these. I will go ahead and um, show you a picture when I'm done and I'm just having a blast. So let me go ahead and finish these up and then I'll come back and I'll show you all of them. I'll be back with you in a bit. All right, hey guys, so I have two of these done and they are so cute. I'm so excited. I'm gonna bring you guys down in. All right, here they are. I made this little packet. Look at these two little pouches. Aren't they adorable? And then what you do is you pull this out. This I tied in a knot so I can just slide it off. I must've tied this one a little bit tighter. And look at this, your life is a story make it interesting how cool is that that's one of them I'll put that back on in a second and here's the second one again I just take this ribbon right off it holds it together and this one says laughter journal create imperfection and life look at that so, okay, I hope you guys join us this month on uh, Gina's Design Team Prompt. Again, it is tickets, and I've made these little pockets to put these in, and they're just so cute. Um, I absolutely love these. I'm going to stick them in my personal journals, most likely. Um, but definitely check out all the artists in the link below, and def uh, go to to Gina's Etsy shop. She has all of her stamps there as well as digital images that you can purchase and you know let's let's keep it coming in for her so that she can come out with more of these yummy goodness for us. All right you guys have a great day. I want to thank you so much for watching and have fun. That's what life's all about. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!